Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. So I was recently surfing through the web and uh, I got one particular open source framework or you can say library called FreeJS and it's super cool and when I saw it, I was something like oh because the possibilities using 3JS is really limitless, sky is the limit because and it's been used by several top organizations like National Geography and even Google. So I thought of making something really cool out of it and you know great things happen with basic steps, small steps and I thought of making something like you see up here. So today I'm going to show you guys how I have written the code and what it takes and what all the different things that play around in 3GS. So let's jump back to the to my iMac and see how I have done it. Boom! So here we are with my Visual Studio code open and towards my left side I have my HTML page and at my right side as you can see I have my JavaScript page. So before that I have let me tell you that I have included the 3JS library from the uh, website origin website as well and after that I have linked my JavaScript and I have made it asynchronous so that after the whole document is loaded the particular our script is loaded and I have added two styles that is I have removed the margin for the body and I have made canvas element with the height 100%. After this, let's look at the JavaScript code. So initially, every time you create a scene, a camera or a renderer, you use the keyword three. So it's like a class or you can say an object in JavaScript. So I just renamed it to a smaller name called underscore rather than typing every time five letters, I have to type just one letter. So first for, let me tell you that for every uh, three JS, environment that we create we need three important things first is scene second one is camera and third one is renderer so we need scene so that we can put things inside of it like uh, you know different things like it might be car or objects or the cube or a spear different types of objects and to look at different types of objects that we have put inside the scene we need a camera and to render scene and camera we need a renderer so for this particular uh, experiment, I used a normal scene and a perspective camera. As you can see on the line four and after that I have used WebGL renderer. So 3JS provides different renderers as well. But for this two particular uh, experiment, I used WebGL renderer, which is fast and efficient. And after that, I have set the size. That's quite easy. So after that, I have put the DOM element inside the body of the html so what this particular statement does i even i don't know but this is what the procedure is so i have understood all the rest of the things but i couldn't even understand this particular line after this this particular uh, experiment i thought of creating a particular cube so let me show you here and open up in my google chrome so this is how the output we will get so it's a cube which has been extruded a lot and I have passed three parameters one is width second one is height and the third one is extrusion so how much in depth will it take so after that I have applied a material so if you want you can just uh, make it white as well so let me change that so as you can see so it's a basic material so even you can apply your different materials like you can apply a photograph or you can say yeah you can apply even a photograph or a normal color or you can even choose between gradients so I thought of making it a color a normal color and after that to make it a cube I have created a mesh and I have passed the geometry and material and this particular cube I have added to the scene and Initially the camera position and the cube position will be same. So if I directly render we will not see anything So I have set the camera position just little bit behind The cube so that we can see the cube rotating So here I have passed so in 3GS is a 3D library So we have three axes that is X Y and Z first one is 0 0.5 that is X 1.8 Y and 7 Z axis 
So if I try to change the x-axis, you will see a change. So did you guys notice that? Uh, this was that was not much of a change. Let's try to change it much more like five. So it moved to the left side, and let me back it straight. All right. So what was it? Um, After this, I have written an animation uh, animate function. So what we need to do is to, in order to make it a rotation, I need to create a loop. I need to create a loop. So every time this particular function runs, for like say us, for every 60 seconds maybe it runs. So as per the documentation, I have called the request animation frame animate function recursively. And every time this function is run, I am incrementing the cube dot. I am rotating the cube via x axis by 0.01 points and even rotating the y axis by 0.01 points as well. And I am re rendering the scene with the scene and camera and I am calling the animate function. Yeah, that's it. Uh, that's quite simple. And if you look at the output, here we are. 